In this guide, I'll show you how to fix it when your party voice chat and mic's not working in X Defiant on Xbox Series S or X. So on the home menu, press R3 on your controller. Then we're going to go to audio and voice chat. And you want to ensure that the main volume is turned up, as well as ensuring voice chat is turned on. And for the voice chat channel, make sure this is turned on to private so you're only talking in your party. For the voice chat volume, ensure this is turned up. And some other things you could try would be decreasing your microphone input threshold. So when you talk, it's easier for the mic to be picked up. And for the microphone volume boost, you could also try turning this up. Now, if it's still not working at this point, the next thing you could try is press the X button on your controller. Then we're going to scroll down and select audio and music. And you wanna ensure your headset mic is turned on, as well as ensuring the headset volume is turned up. Headset chat mixer, you can leave that somewhere in the middle. And you wanna ensure mic monitoring is turned down. Now, I do recommend you have an actual look at your headset to ensure that you haven't switched on the mute toggle on most headsets, as well as ensuring the volume dial is turned up. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go to home. Also check and make sure that it's actually plugged in well to your Xbox controller. Now we're going to go to settings in the top right, and we're going to scroll over and select volume and audio output. Now you wanna ensure the HDMI audio is set to the correct one. I'm using a headset, so I'd use this. For most other people, you'd go with stereo uncompressed. Now for headset audio, ensure it's on Windows Sonic for headphones or stereo uncompressed for most people. Now we're going to go to additional options and you wanna ensure party chat output is set to headset and speakers, or if you're using a specific one, just go ahead and select it. I like to select this one because you're hitting all bases there. Now we're going to go back and we're gonna to go to devices and connections and select controllers and headsets and go to the three dots. Now you wanna ensure your Xbox wireless controller is running the latest firmware version, as if it's not, this can affect performance on your headset as well as your controller. Now, if you're still experiencing problems at this point, I'd recommend switching out your Xbox controller if you have another one, as well as your headset to see if they were the issue. If this video was helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.